Hi, my name's Ryan. I own Ooze Nest, and you've probably spoke to me quite a few times over email and Facebook. Um, this is the work bee. We're just going to go through surfacing your spoiler board. One of the main reasons you want to surface your spoiler board is so you make it parallel to your moving gantry. If you don't do this, when you come to cut a workpiece, you would set your zero here. As you get to the, another corner, it would be a different distance away. So when we surface it, your zero here will be your Z zero here will be your Z zero over here. Your spoiler board is a waste board, so you're meant to keep replacing it as it gets cut up. When you surface it, you can just resurface it to remove all the cuts you've done into it and then carry on using the same board. So for this job, we're going to use a quarter inch bit. You can buy specialised servicing bits to make it a lot quicker process. These are like one inch, two inch bits. We're going to use a quarter inch bit from our store. So the plan is to cut in one mil increments, taking this as our first zero. We will work across the board. If, for instance, we get over here and it hasn't cut into the board, we'll start again going down another one mil, so two mil in total, do it again, and so forth. We're going to do 80% step over at 800 millimeters per minute, around 20k RPM on the Dewalt, that's setting 2.5 roughly. How we set this up in our CAM software, we had a rectangle job equal to the width of this not the width of the spoiler board, but the width of the maximum travel distance of this machine. And then we just set it to cut on the inside, offsetting the whole way along. One thing to note, if you have a dust shoe, as you go down in your Z, this will clip the C-beam and the wire plate inner. So you need to make it 15 mil less than the machine travel size. What you can do, we can do the whole job using the dust shoe and then take the dust shoe off and do the final 15 mil down each side. For this video, we're just gonna stick to the dust shoe. The second thing to note, when holding down the spoiler board, you wanna inset your nuts. If you don't, when you come to surface it, you'll clip the heads, or you'll have to make your working area smaller because you can't hit them. So we've inset these around 10 mil. So as we surface, we'll just clear them, and then this allows us to keep resurfacing the board over and over again until we hit the nuts. Um, final thing, if you're wondering what all these holes are, with this machine we did a pattern of holes and on the underside we insert wood, wood threaded T-nuts and we've glued them in. Again these are inserted down 10 mil so we can surface the spoiler board and then we just use standard plates and nuts to clamp pieces down. When working with MDF you ideally want a dust extraction system. The dust particles can be bad for your health, so we've got this set up here. I've got the machine ready, I've set the zero there, and I've honed the machine. I've moved it along 15 mil, so it clears, so the dust shoe will clear this axis. Um, I'm gonna turn it on. Turn the dust extraction on. And then just press send. So, the job is complete. As you can see, one mil was enough to cover the whole spoiler board and inset the whole lot, so we won't do another pass. What we're doing now, we'll just do as many jobs as we can on this. As it gets cut up, we'll just come over again, do another one mil pass, and it'll bring it back as like a fresh spoiler board. I hope this video has been informative. It will basically help for another step in taking the workbeat kit to a working functioning machine help you to get the most out of it. All the links to the download files and the G-code files and the Vectric files will be in the description. You can just adjust the files to your size and that's it. Thanks for watching.